Welcome to Greenfield, everybody. This is a very, very large map, which is 57 square kilometers or 57,000 blocks. Even the interiors of every single building and landmark are fully detailed. So let's go over to the landmark room, but before we do that, let's take a look inside of this main building. These are the creators. This is the creator, the owner, I should say. He started this map by making a gas station, which is still there. This is not Technoblade, unfortunately. This is another admin, and as you can see, there are some more admins around us. Let's go upstairs. As you can see, every single part of the building is fully detailed, as you would expect in real life. It seems that it is just a normal building. So, we're gonna go outside and go to the landmark room. So, the first area that we're gonna go to is the airport, because it is the newest. As you can see, we've got some plants, we've got some nice roads, and one thing that you're gonna notice is that the roads look how you would expect them to look in real life. There's a little palm tree parking lot this is the actual airport as you can see there's a really big phone ad it seems that my computer is lagging from the airport let's actually go into spectator mode because it's a little bit easier to move around all right there we go this is what seems to be a hotel it seems that every single room of the hotel is fully detailed Look at that. This is the lobby, complex, whatever. Let's see the actual airport now. Okay, so here we are. This is the actual airport. Let's take a look at this building. When you enter, you see these gate or departures to different airline companies. As you can see, there's Air Chinese to Beijing. And over here, we've got Northern American Air. No copyright infringement right there. Go through customs. Just what you would expect at a normal airport. But what's really impressive about this is that it's built to the same scale and the same detail as you would expect in real life and it's with only minecraft blocks. it does have a texture pack but it only uses vanilla minecraft blocks so you don't need to install a mod or anything for this even the furniture is fully detailed now if we go outside you can see that we also have fully detailed airplanes even the interiors are fully detailed but as you would expect they are a little bit compact Let's take a look at another plane. Fully detailed interior. Seems to be an entirely economy plane, but you can't really fit that much detail into a couple of blocks. And not only do they fully detail the plane, they also slant it according to what orientation it's supposed to be in, which is very impressive considering that in Minecraft you can't really slant blocks. They're blocks. And now if we go over here to the runways, as you can see there's some vegetation, uh, there's some runway vehicles that are not airplanes, like these buses over here, and these uh, utility vehicles and this tanker there's an airplane taxiing to the runway again i love the uh level of detail that you see here it's also fully detailed on the interior as well like the rest of the entire map the runways even have signs with numbers and letters on them which i think is pretty cool you can see weathering on the runway as you can see here are some more utility vehicles this is a gate gate 46 go inside as you can see this is what you would normally expect to see when boarding an airplane. Alright, the next landmark we're going to be visiting is the Gamma Pier. As you can see, there is a little bit of an industrial feel over here. Industrial buildings. I'm not sure exactly what these are, but they certainly do look realistic. I think these are something to do with power. There is a gray reinforced ironclad industrial feel. As you can see, there are some trucks and cars on the road. This is apparently a building company, and this entire factory thing is extended along this real-life scale. But if we look to the left, it's a little bit different. This is a suburban living area, and we're going to take a look at the interiors and the exteriors, of course, because they are fully detailed, and it is very, very impressive. As you can see, this one seems to be just moving in. Kitchen, blah, blah, blah. This one seems to be a little bit more set up. There's the beds, you know, the computer where you can play greenfield on kitchen tv this one too it's got a nice organization there's a closet with clothes inside again this level of detail is not something that i would have expected to see from a map that's 57,000 blocks large this is a gas station i'm not sure if it's the original gas station but it certainly is a gas station and as you can see obviously in a suburban town you will find shops and restaurants and things of that sort. This is a little house that's for sale. Again, love the level of detail. There's a little truck stop over here. And if we go a little bit further, more houses. 
power lines, of course, and what seems to be a school. I think this is a school, right? No, this is a warehouse. Safe pay. This looks like a bank. Nope. It's a grocery store. There's even a little basketball. No, that's not basketball. Soccer court, which I think is pretty cool. So the next place we're going to visit should have a little bit more greenery. We're going to be visiting Glenview. Now the problem with having a little bit more greenery is that this is a graveyard. A little bit gloomy. There's this little building here, which I'm not sure what it's for. Here lies Dane's internet. All right. Now this part seems to be unfinished and these are still being worked on power connector because that part was still being worked on we're gonna visit a place that has a similar vibe to it with a lot of greenery hopefully a little bit more cheery but looks a little bit more finished from the map all right here we are there are some little plant pots this seems to be a nice little garden as you can see ton of detail across this entire garden many different kinds of trees which in minecraft there aren't that many kinds of trees so it's nice to see this level of detail there's this little greenhouse as well and right here we have a flower garden so yeah this entire area seems to be some sort of marshland or swamp which wasn't developed into for a perfectly good reason because who would develop buildings in a marshland and as you can see it is sort of a standard looking suburban town city thing as you can see this is a bar they've got little signs hanging up just some decorations these places also seem to be unfinished unfortunately they are still working on this but the places that are finished have very very nice detail even the places under the bridges which people would normally not visit seems that there is a large warehouse over here where they build planes. That's cool. Or is this an airport? Yes, it is. It is a tiny little airport. Let's see if this tiny plane has detail in it. I'd be surprised if it did, but also kind of not surprised. Yep. Seems to actually have a little bit of detail. I have no idea how they cram so much detail into a single block worth of space. Here are the aircraft hangars. It's for those of you who are wondering, H-A-N-G-A-R-S instead of H-A-N-G-E-R-S. As you can see, this aircraft seems to be under maintenance. And there are some, there is one aircraft being built here. And there are more tables of plies and equipment, I suppose. Even these little traffic cones or safety cones or whatever you call them. But overall, this place seems very, very nice and very detailed. The next area we're going to visit is Palma. All right. Here we are. As you can see, it's not really a full-blown city, I suppose. Like, not a full urban city. Let's take a look at these houses. As you can see, full interior. There's even a little coffee maker over here. Remember, this is all done without any mods. There's a community center of sorts. Cars, obviously. What would be a city without cars? An unfinished area. Something is up with all of these unfinished areas. The entire map is over a over a GP, which is pretty large considering that most Minecraft maps are a couple of MB. Let's take a look at another house. There's an attic and a fully detailed interior. Last but not least, we are visiting the downtown. The downtown should be a little bit less developed than an actual full-blown city, but it should be more developed than the uh, suburban type places that we visited in the last couple of minutes. As you can see, it delivers just fine. There are still good amounts of greenery, but it's a lot more developed. There are a lot of high rises and all of those things, and every street, every alleyway, every building is fully detailed. Every floor and room of the skyscrapers are made very well. As you can see, every single skyscraper has rooms. It seems to be glitching a little bit around here, but yeah. This is a very nice city. Some buildings have helicopter uh, landing spots. There's another one over here, as you can see. This building seems a little bit more industrial. On the ceiling, there's just these air vents, fan thingies, and what you would expect from a normal skyscraper. One thing that I forgot to mention is the entire metro system. As you can see underground, there is a full-blown metro system connecting the entire map of Greenfield. It's a very cool system. You can actually put a minecart in it and go around it because it's an actual metro system, which you can put minecarts in 
right around. Might be a little bit slow though, so I'd recommend just using the teleport rooms. Greenfield is available for Minecraft Java. Unfortunately, it is not available for Bedrock. Perhaps you can use a world converter, but I'm not sure what you would do with the official resource pack because you kind of need it to make everything look nice. As you can see, this is a construction site or perhaps a demolition site. Seems that they are demolishing this building. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Greenfield is absolutely amazing. So if you have time and if you have Minecraft Java, I'd recommend giving the map a download and taking a look around it, perhaps in survival or creative or spectator mode like I am doing right now. The scale and detail is absolutely astounding for a Minecraft map. And I highly recommend you give it a go and take a look for yourself. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.